Hi, it's time to go to camp. We've got one that teaches you to be another kind of lifeguard. Coming up next on the Woman to Woman Show. Hi, I'm Luann. Welcome to the Woman to Woman Show. And we have another great visit today with Gail Atberry, a director of Oregon Right to Life. And we're going to talk about Camp Joshua. Yeah. And I just am so anxious to hear about this camp and uh, what you guys are doing with the young people that, in Oregon. And, and kind of start out telling us about what it is and who can come. Well, this is an exciting camp. We've, we thought of this about, I think, seven years ago, seven or eight years ago, and just you know, sitting around the table, we thought that it would be wonderful to start training up the teens to replace us older people in the pro-life yeah, movement. <laughs> very important. We are going to be gone. We get we tired. Pass the baton. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> so what better way to do it than to come up with a yeah. camp and take these kids out and spend some serious in-depth time with them. Fun time, but serious time. Yeah, yeah. And so we came up with Camp Joshua. And uh, we have it every year during spring break. Okay. Oh, that's and perfect. It's perfect. The kids, um, it's 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 great. They don't have to give up any of their summer, but uh, we and it's a, we go to a, a camp outside of Salem. Okay. And we spend uh, three days this year. We have so much fun. We've got so much to do that this year we had to make it four days. Oh, so <laughs> three days wasn't wonderful. enough for everything no. that we were doing. So um, what's the age? Uh, the age is sixteen to twenty. Okay, great. And uh, anyone within that age category fits, and yeah. we usually have a nice, nice spread of kids, and they come from all over the state. Uh, it's kind of, Amazing. it's really, it's really kind of fun. It's so fun to get to know other people. Well, it is, and usually uh, they'll come by themselves, and sometimes they bring a friend. There might be two of them. Yeah. But uh, before the first night comes. They have all bonded. It's, oh, we keep yeah. it small, but keep it under 25. Okay, I was just going to ask, how yeah. many can you take? So that's, we keep 25. it small like that. That's so the, with that amount Get of kids, they just, they know each other, and they're like all best friends And yeah. by the time yeah. they go and they change emails and I get together. It. So it's a really fun time. We keep them so busy uh, that I'm exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> time <is> wow, <laughs> and and they basically are getting the skills needed to um, speak the truth out yes. in the world, and and this is a skill that everybody needs. You can know the facts, but you've got to learn how to how to how to, fight how the to relay it to others. Okay. Now, also knowing the facts though is one part that we dwell on on heavily okay. too, because a lot of these kids. Uh, while they do know something about abortion and, and why it's, you know, it just kills a baby, and uh, right. uh, sometimes they don't realize the full impact that an abortion has on the mother and the sadness that a mother lives with not for about. the rest of their life. Their life. And the dads. Uh, it, inf it affects the fathers yes. of the baby. I, we had a guest on the show that talked about men and abortion, how his whole counseling service was for that purpose. Yes, yes. And men are affected for years. They are. And they don't know and they, why. And they talk about it even less than, than women do. Right, because we so, talk about it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness that's what they say keeps us living so long. And that's right, is we always have thing. something to learn. <laughs> so ah. we have what one panel we have is composed of women and usually a man that have had abortion and they talk with the Didn't with the kids that. about you know why they had the abortion in the first place how how it affected them afterwards what they lived with and how they finally found healing and peace with the decision that they'd made in forgiveness oh i love that uh, so it's this is this is probably the best uh, panel discussion we have during the whole time because you know, the women bear their soul, and the yeah. kids really see the up close the, the and personal mission of abortion, not only to the baby, yes. but to the, the 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 ladies, the women that are left behind. Yes. So that's a powerful, 
powerful time that we have. Uh, we take we bring in other speakers to them, and we go on field trips. We take into the Capitol. Oh, I love that. that they love I want to go. I, I, next time, call me. I, I'm going to that. And time. we get to, and they we take That's them into fun. the meet with the legislators and into their offices, and legislators talk about what it's like to be a pro life legislator, and and uh, then we usually take them on a, a climbing trip to the very top of the Capitol up to see the gold mine. Gold oh, man at the top. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, that's a fun trip. So important. It, it is. And so they get a little taste of politics, which is a portion of the pro life movement, not all of it. Right. Just a portion. You have to have all the pieces. That's right. And then yeah. we take them to a pregnancy support center I love that. And, sh and show how the one on one uh, group of pro lifers are out helping women right, right where they are and help yeah. them get to the pregnancy. Uh, this year we're going to have a speaker back that we had last year. Uh, Steve Wagner is his name, and I saw him uh, in the brochure. Yes, he is so cool. He's a and what is his background? Uh, he um, is apologetics, pro life apologetics, oh, and so he cool. goes around and, and talks to young kids. Yeah, only because he's young. He so. looks really young. He is young. Who is this guy? Well. <laughs> And he's so he age thing. <laughs> so uh, he 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 goes to college campuses and goes to church groups, goes to a lot of places, and and talks to kids about how we can talk to our peers. I love it. And in a pro life manner, and 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 understand where where someone who holds a pro abortion view understand where they're coming where they're from. coming from, which is very yeah. important when well, you're talking is. Um, to somebody. You've got to. Breakthrough and that's right because they're not enemies. We're not enemies right. with them. They don't. We just have to assume we, they don't know the truth. And if they did, they that's probably right. wouldn't that's, think. But um, before we get any further, I do want to get the nuts and bolts out for you. How yes. does somebody um, sign up for this camp or learn more? Okay, you can go to our website. Okay, O R T L dot and we'll have that on the end of the okay. screen. Okay, right. just go there and there's you can camp just click, clip your way and you'll be at Camp Joshua. Yeah, there's a little even a little video there. Oh, uh, actually, one that I we're going to show website, here. By the way, <laughs> that is so cool. Your website is outstanding. Oh, I have to say, it well, really you. is. It's it's so fun to stay on and and go. You know, different different places. I yeah. click, 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 and and it's just I learn something new every time. But uh, the deadline for uh, the deadline is, is probably the end of months? February. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, so so that's perfect because mm -hmm. uh, I think everybody will see this in January. So yeah, that's great. That's right, and it's it'll be during spring break, which is March twenty. 24th to oh, yeah. 27th. Right, spring so, break, so mm -hmm. we've got that covered. Mm -hmm. There's right. a cost, but we, we do have a just have scholarships available in case someone can't afford, yeah. afford it or afford all of it. We can You've covered help. everything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just, I know having, uh, you seeing the young people all the time, mm -hmm. I know you, you hear stories and you see wonderful things that happen, and if you could just say something that oh. kind of impressed you or that I don't know something well, about one of the kids. They, all the kids go away completely changed and energized. My one particular story, which is very tiny, but it meant so much. There was a very, there was a boy that came. It was very shy and quiet. Yeah. And he called in about a month later and said that they had had some discussion on, on abortion, and he stood up and talked about it in class. And was he the, high school? Or yeah, college? he was high school. High school. High school. That's and big. If for, if, especially for this particular guy, because he. He was he was quiet and shy. So what this camp does is empower kids. First of all, they 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 know things now. Yeah, you and gotta have those facts. That's right. And we do have those speak. They have to practice speaking while they're there. Really, so, I love it. So he was ready when the time came. And he was ready to do it. We've had uh, one girl went out and did her own little radio program. Uh, we've had them go start. Uh, pro-life chapters in their high school and on college campuses. That's really helpful. It's just it's everything. It's just amazing uh, the things that they do. Some help start helping at pregnancy support centers, volunteering their time. So they're motivated when they get out of this camp. They are. And what better are. reason is that, I mean, there are a lot of causes young people can get involved in. A lot of them are, oh, I'm for recycling. I'm for, you know, this and that and the environment. What better thing than to save a life? To I save mean, you're life. out there saving human lives. You're out there saving children. I, I don't know. How could you pick something else? <laughs> I, <laughs> to me, that's what I'm, I'm you thinking. Know, there's no question. <laughs> there that, isn't. They all need to go to Camp Joshua. If some